In this episode, we'll take a look at the RF Venue Diversity Fin Antenna. It's basically a two-in-one antenna for your wireless microphone system to increase the range. Wireless microphones for video production are a blessing and a curse, but mostly a blessing and pretty much a necessity in 2021. The curse part is interference and signal dropouts. But first, a tip. If you're using a UHF wireless system, it's important to keep the transmitter and receiver's antenna oriented the same way. So if your transmitter antenna is oriented vertically, you'll also want your receiver's antenna to be oriented vertically. And likewise, if the transmitter's antenna is oriented horizontally, you'll want the receiver's antenna to be oriented horizontally as well. Pro-level wireless mic systems are usually described as using a true diversity system, which helps prevent dropouts and interference. A wireless system is considered a true diversity system when it has, for each microphone channel, two different receivers, and those two receivers are receiving the same exact signal from the transmitter. Each of those receivers uses a different antenna, and then the system constantly watches the two receivers and can switch between them depending on which one has a more stable reception. But what if the included WIP antenna aren't getting you enough range? I found that to be especially problematic when working outdoors without any walls nearby. It's as if the signal is sent by the transmitter out into the ether and it just sort of dissipates before it ever gets to your receiver. And you end up with dropouts. Here's a very high level overview of three different common types of antennae used for wireless microphone systems. First, there are monopole antennae. These are the quarter wave whip antennae that comes with most UHF systems. Then there are dipole antennae, which are basically a type of double-ended whip antenna, which puts out a donut-shaped signal or polar pattern. And then finally, most production sound mixers use log periodic dipole array antenna, often called shark fin or paddle antenna. These antenna put out more of a figure eight polar pattern, something that's a little bit more directional and has a bit more reach. Many production sound mixers will use two shark fins spaced a bit apart for their diversity antenna. But if you want to keep your footprint as small as possible and retain the ability to move your sound cart very quickly, something like RF Venue's diversity fin antenna starts to make sense. On the diversity fin antenna, the paddle or shark fin part of the antenna is oriented vertically and the dipole is oriented horizontally. They're configured 90 degrees apart from each other to help prevent dropouts. There's a separate output for the paddle and for the dipole. So it's essentially two different antennae in the same package. Question is, how well does it work relative to the included WIP antenna with my Audio Limited A10 wireless system? We did two tests in the wide open outdoors, one of the more challenging situations for wireless microphone systems. In the first test, we used the two included WIP antennae with the Audio Limited A10 receiver. The transmitter was set to its highest output level, 50 milliwatts. In this test, the first dropout occurred at 25 meters with my body between the transmitter and the receiver. At 50 meters with my body between the transmitter and receiver, there were substantial dropouts, making the system basically unusable at that point. In test two, we swapped out the WIP antenna on the receiver for the diversity fin antenna and left everything else the same. In this test, the first dropout occurred at 75 meters with my body between the transmitter and receiver, and it wasn't until 100 meters distance with my body between the transmitter and receiver that we experienced substantial dropouts. In short, by swapping out the included whip antennae on the receiver for the diversity fin antennae, when we went outdoors in the wide open spaces, we were able to increase the range by about 25 meters. Now this antenna comes in at $519 USD, that may sound steep or expensive, but for paid work where you have to deliver, it seems like a fair price. Here are the tests that we did so you can hear for yourself. In this first test, we're going to use the whip antennas, which are just here on the slot system here. So diversity antennas, this one is uh, rated for 470 to 548 megahertz. This one is 518 to 608. We are actually using uh, 518 megahertz frequency for this particular transmission. So I'm gonna go ahead and count off some steps and let's see when we get dropouts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. Okay, about 25 meters here. And I've turned around, so um, no more line of sight here for the transmitter. Uh, transmitter's in high power. The antenna is oriented vertically. And of course, the whip antennas on the receiver is oriented vertically as well. I go ahead and turn the antenna so it is now oriented horizontally behind my back. And now it's horizontal line of sight to the receiver. Vertical and then horizontal. Go ahead and pop this back in. All right, let's keep on going. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Um, turned so that the transmitter is on my back. I am between the transmitter and the receiver. Receiver still up here. Vertical oriented antennas on both the transmitter and receiver. Go ahead and turn that. So the transmitter is oriented horizontally, whereas the receiver is oriented vertically. Go ahead and turn around. It's now line of sight. Uh, we're a horizontal here on the transmitter and vertical on the receiver. Now vertical on the transmitter, pop it back on my belt. This is the same as last time we are using the RF venue diversity antenna. So let's go ahead and count it off, stopping every 25 meters. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, whoops. Stop at 25, <laughs> 25 meters here. Again, we're at high power on the transmitter. It is on the small of my back here on the belt. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the transmitter off now. The antenna is vertically oriented at the moment. Now I'm gonna change it. Now it is at 90 degrees to that, so it is horizontally oriented. And let's go ahead and turn around. Horizontally oriented here still. Here's vertical, here's horizontal. And here is back on my belt in a vertical orientation. And we'll keep on going. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. Okay, here we are at 25 meters and approximately. The transmitter is on the small of my back here. The Antenna's oriented vertically, and so I am between the transmitter and the receiver, so this may be where we first drop the signal. Pop the transmitter off, change it into horizontal orientation. Let's turn around. The antenna is now in horizontal orientation. Now it's in vertical orientation, horizontal orientation. Back to vertical. Let's go ahead and pop it back on my belt. Cover it up and keep going. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. This should be about seventy-five meters here. Again, the transmitter is on my back here, oriented vertically with the antenna right now. Let's pop that off. The antenna is now oriented horizontally. Back to vertical, horizontal, direct line of sight, horizontal oriented, back to vertical. Let's go ahead and hide it on the belt again, and we will keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This should be about 100 meters here. Again, the transmitter's on my back. We have changed the transmitter so that the antenna is horizontally oriented. This is with the antenna horizontally oriented, now vertical, back to horizontal, vertical. Pop that back on. All right, I think that we're gonna head back now. Now, the tricks, the great outdoors this. My experience has been that when you get a great distance, the RF signal drops. Almost like you really need walls. 
but uh, we don't have any of those out here. And so it's almost like the signal just kind of goes out and dissipates before it even gets to the receiver. But I'm curious now when this will pick it back up, when this is oriented, uh, well, set up so that the transmitter's on my back. Currently the antenna's in vertical orientation. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Bye.